This is an overview of the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics. I'm Margaret Miller. In the previous video, we took a closer look at what is displayed in the Metrics Portlet, and we began defining the 13 project metrics. We learned that there are four core metrics that are pulled directly from data in ITG Center. Actual, Plan to Date, Budget, Estimated Time to Complete, ETC. The remaining nine metrics are calculated from these core metrics. Seven of these metrics provide additional information about the current state of a project, and two forecast the future state of the project at its conclusion. In this video, we'll be focusing on those metrics that provide additional information about the current state of the project. We'll be covering a lot of detail in this video. You may find it helpful to print out the quick reference guides provided with this online tutorial if you haven't already done so. They are available in the column to the right of this video. There are seven metrics that show the current state of a project at a given point in time. They are earn burn ratio, earned, budget variance, percent complete, Plan percent complete, actual minus plan to date, earned minus plan to date. Let's start out by looking at earned and then the earn burn ratio. Earned. Earned represents the amount of work that has been accomplished to date. It's how much you've accomplished for the time you had planned to spend. If everything is going according to plan, then earned should equal actuals. Industry-wide, there are several different methods for calculating the earned metric. At the university, we use a simplified method for calculating the earned metric based on the overall percent complete. The calculation looks like this. Earned equals budget times percent complete. Or another way to view this calculation is earned equals budget times actuals divided by actuals plus ETC. Notice the role that the core metrics play in determining the value for earned. Budget, actuals, and estimated time to complete all come into play. Next let's look at the earned burn ratio. The earn burn ratio is the metric that is most often referred to, and basically it lets you know if everything is going according to plan. It helps to answer the question, are we accomplishing a day of work for every day of effort we have invested? The ideal value for the earn burn ratio is 1. In general, values less than 1 indicate that for the work you're doing, you're not accomplishing as much as you had planned. Values greater than one indicate that you are accomplishing more than was planned. The calculation for the earn burn ratio looks like this, earn divided by actuals. Or another way to view this calculation is the earn burn ratio equals budget divided by actuals plus ETC. Again, notice the role that the core metrics play in determining this metric. Before we go any further, let's see an example of the earned and earn burn ratio in the Dream Institute Tracking App Project. The Dream Institute Tracking App Project has now completed two months. If we look at the earn burn ratios, we see the value of 1 on a number of activities that have gotten underway. 1 is the ideal value and generally indicates that we are accomplishing what we had planned to do. If we look at the planning activity, we see that the value for earned equals actuals. For the analysis activity, we see the same thing. The value for earned equals actuals. This is just what we'd like to see. So far, things seem to be going according to plan. There are five additional metrics that show the current state of a project 
at a given point in time. They are budget variance. Budget variance is the difference between work completed, earned, and the effort spent to date, actuals, also known as burned. And it answers the question, are we over or under budget? In this case, budget refers to effort, not cost. So it's, have we spent more or less effort to get an activity done? The calculation for budget variance is earned minus actuals. If everything is going according to plan, the value should be zero. Percent complete. Percent complete is a calculation of the total effort spent divided by the total estimated effort. The calculation is actuals divided by actuals plus estimated time to complete. Percent complete represents how far along we are on an activity. Plan percent complete. Plan percent complete represents how far along we should be on a given activity if everything is going according to plan. The calculation is percent complete equals plan to date divided by budget. Actuals minus plan to date. Actuals minus plan to date compares the amount of time planned so far with the amount of time spent so far. It describes actual participation in the plan. It's not measuring what we're accomplishing for the work that we're doing, but if we said that at this point in the project we would have spent 20 days on an activity, have we spent 20 days or are we under or over that? If the value is zero or very close to zero, it shows that the work is getting done according to the plan. A positive value represents the number of plan days we are ahead in actual participation in the plan. A negative value represents the number of plan days we are behind in actual participation. Earn minus plan to date. Earn minus plan to date represents the schedule variance. It's the difference between work completed to date, earned, and work planned to date. It answers the question, are we ahead or behind schedule at this point in the project? It is a measure of the effort that was planned to be completed that has not been completed. It quantifies the number of days the project is ahead or behind in work effort to complete its deliverables. A positive number indicates you are ahead of what was planned a negative number indicates you are behind what was planned. Let's see an example of these metrics in the Dream Institute Tracking App Project. The Dream Institute Tracking App Project is now three months along. We can see that the earn burn ratios have gone down a little bit on a couple of the activities. This indicates that not as much is being accomplished as was planned. Let's specifically look at the design activity. Actuals versus plan to date look good. However, earned is a little bit lower. Remember, if everything is going according to plan, then earned should equal actuals. Looking at the budget variance, we see that there is a negative value. This indicates that they are spending more time to accomplish the work than they had planned. Looking at percent complete, and the plan percent complete, we see that there is a difference. This indicates that they're not quite as far along in the project as they had planned to be at this point. Actual minus plan to date is at zero, which means that they said they would spend 50 days at this point in the project, and they have done just that. However, as we have seen with the other metrics, even though they've spent 50 days, they haven't accomplished as much in those 50 days as they had planned. Earn minus plan to date also supports this. The negative value here again indicates that it's taking more time to accomplish the work than they had planned. 
Jane Redding, the project manager, has checked in with her project team at their monthly meeting and learned that some of the work is a little more complicated than was anticipated. At this point, she has decided not to take any corrective action, as her team is planning to make up some time over the next month. This is the end of Lesson 3, the fourth video in the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics Training. In this video, we focused on metrics that provide information about the current state of a project at a given point in time. In the next video, we'll look at metrics that forecast the future state of the project at its conclusion, and we'll check in again with the Dream Institute Tracking App Project.